So, my name is Pastor Paul. I'm the Dean of the Ministry Training Center here. And this is a center where we train people for ministry. So if you believe you have a call of God upon your life, this is the place to be. We meet here every Thursday from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. is the training center. And at 5 p.m. we start praying. Our new class is on the 5th of January 2012. So I look forward to seeing as many of you that believe that God called you to the ministry to be here. Okay? Praise God, everyone. Praise, God. Praise the Lord.
for everybody who's here today. Amen. Thank you for being here. Amen. Anybody else? Come on up. What would you like to say, young man? What are you thankful for? Thank you for that candy. Amen. Oh. What are you thankful for? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> okay, that's the truth. Anybody else? Anybody else come and just uh, give us a little praise for you? What God has done for you or what he's doing in your life or a vision? God has given you a vision or anything? Anybody else? Come on, there's got to be somebody thankful here. Amen? Somebody got to be thankful. Come on up. Would you like to share a couple words? I'm thankful. I have a roof over my head. Amen. I have a roof over my head. What? Say again. I have a roof over my head. I have a place to live. Amen. I praise the Lord. Amen. How many got a roof over their head? Amen. Amen. I would just like to say that I'm thankful for each and every one of you here today. God bless you all, and I hope that you're having an enjoyable Thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you. That's all I've got to say. Amen. And we're very thankful, my Father, that you have blessed this day. That this is a day that you have made and you cause us to rejoice in you, God. We thank you for all the people that came today. We thank you for the hearts and fears that are going to hear, God. And we just praise you right now, Father. We invite you in, Holy Spirit. We know you're here. But we just ask, God, that you would deliver your message right now, God, that the people here will aim to hear from you. Not from me, but from you, Father. So we thank you. We ask that you bless Pastor Vicki for allowing us to share with her this day of Thanksgiving. And that's what we're thankful for in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Uh, my name is Ron. I'm a servant of the Most High God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Because he called me to be in service for him. I asked him into my heart. I became born again spiritually. Born again means that I have received a confession by mouth, believe in my heart that Jesus died in my place. How many believe that Jesus died in your place? Amen. Amen. How many believe that Jesus can forgive all sin? Amen. Amen. Because God purposed that in his plan. Because the Bible says while we're still yet sinners, God died for the ungodly. That was me. How many of you were ungodly? I was very ungodly. Very ungodly. I shouldn't even be here right now. Being, uh, you know, in the drug scene, in the gang scene, the shooting, the violence. Got a homeboy that can testify here how we used to run. But praise God, we don't run no more like that. Amen? Yeah. We run with Jesus, yeah. the author and perfecter of our faith. The one who loves you. The one who died for you. The one that took a beating. If they called upon me to die for you, guess what? You're not going to get saved because I can't do it. Because when they beat Jesus and they pulled his beard. Listen, I have a little puppy that bites my beard. And I get angry because it hurts. I push him away. I can't take that little pain. But Jesus, the Bible says that they plucked his beard out. They took his beard and pulled it out of his face. But he opened his mouth now. He didn't cry out. He had, the Bible says he had a legion of angels that could deliver him. Myriads of angels, thousands of angels that could have came and wiped out the Roman soldiers who were crucified him. But you know why he did it? Because he did it for you. He did it for me. And then he took the pain upon him. He took the cross. I put it. The first time the Roman soldiers hit me, I would say, they can all die. Because I'm not taking the pain. Amen. So how great is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ? Amen. He's awesome. He's awesome. From the creation of the world, God remembers you. Because he said, let us make man in our image. The image of who? God. The invisible God. But he gave us attributes like him. We can feel, touch, see, hear, heart, right? God knows your cry. The Bible says that every time you cry, he saves your tears in the law. How awesome is our God? How awesome is our God? Look what Jesus said. Jesus said in Matthew, chapter 11, 20, Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden. That's how like it. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle, humble in heart. And you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. Man, how many of you are stressed out today? How many of you going through it? How many of you are just like heavy laden? Jesus said, here, take his yoke upon you. Because he's willing to take over your life. He's willing to come into your life. He's willing to deliver you from all your infirmities, your illnesses, your sicknesses, your drug habits, your drinking habits, whatever it may be. Let me share this with you. I don't get paid to come up here and share with anybody. No, nope, the city didn't send me. The only one that sent me was God. Because let me tell you something. Three weeks ago, four weeks ago, I was homeless. 
I've been homeless for a long time. Living in the streets, in my sister's house, in my back of my car, behind my brother's house right here. He can verify that. I was living in my car in the apartment. Well, out of nowhere, God sends some financial. What? Oh. As of three weeks ago, God sent some financial aid to deliver me from the streets. Amen. Amen. To deliver me from the streets. Amen. Amen. Can we give Jesus a shout? Yeah. Being homeless, being sick, but I wasn't sick and tired enough because I would return back to what they call the vomit, the old style. But the Bible says, reckon the old man dead. My old lifestyle needs to be buried, crucified in Christ. Amen. No longer I live, but Christ in me. Amen. And that's what I need to live for. But I'm no longer homeless. And guess what? I praise the Lord. He gave us an apartment. I have my own place in years. But is God able to do that? Amen. Great testimony. That's why I'm here. I'm here to share with you that God is able to deliver not only homeless, but drug addiction, drinking addiction, hard heartness. I had an ugly heart. I had a hateful heart. I didn't. I tried to shoot my wife and kill her because she knew Jesus before I did. I didn't want to hear it. I tried to say that for Easter. She's there to testify. I tried to blow away. Guess what? God protected me. As well as God protect you today. Amen? So Jesus is saying, hey, come on to him. There's only one God, one Savior, the man Jesus Christ. He's Jesus and I'm the way, the truth, the life. Nobody comes to the Father but by him. Every tongue is going to confess, every knee is going to bow that Jesus Christ is Lord. How many know Jesus today? How many have Jesus as the Lord and Savior? Amen. Praise the Lord. How many would like to have him as Lord and Savior? What the Bible declares is if you believe in your heart, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ died in your place, he'll forgive you and he'll come into your heart. I'm going to say a simple prayer. Because I, I, we don't want to give a long, drawn-out message, but just a short one to tell you that Jesus lives. The only reason this happened today was because of Jesus. Amen? He chose us, just vessels, to do this for you, our gifts. Amen? For you. This is for you. This is from God himself. Because you know what? If it was up to us in our own ugly hearts, we wouldn't do this. But it's the love of God in us that he loves you. And God wants to be an extension through us. For you. Amen? Because he loves you so much. Because you know how much he loves you this much. Can anybody here drive nails in their hands? The feet? No, but God. Can any of you get beat up with 42 times a With whips? At the end of the whip, there was a piece of glass, pieces of metal that ripped Jesus' back open. How many seen the movie? Uh, what's that movie? Passion. 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 Passion of the Christ. The Passion. How many seen that movie? Yeah. All right. That movie was Hollywood. That wasn't even... Uh, half of what Jesus went through for us. Amen? So we know, according to the scriptures, that Jesus was beat. The Bible says that he was looked upon by man, and they couldn't tell if he was a person, a human being, or what. That's how bad he died. He took the punishment for you, and he died for you. Amen? So, I'm going to say a simple prayer, and if anybody would like to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior, it's real, folks. It's real. Let me share this with you, real quickly. In 1986, my daughter died of cancer. She was a year and a half. Okay, but let me tell you this. I cried out to God and he heard me. I said, God, I can't get through this. Okay, I, I, I can't do this, man, my daughter. But before I have to recognize that my daughter belonged to God. It was his daughter before mine, amen? And then when I cried out, he heard me. And he delivered me. He got me through it. So let me share this with you. Why would I tell you about a God that can't help you? Amen? Because he didn't help me. I would be lying, right? But I'm sharing a testimony that God was there in the most critical time of my life. And he's here today. He's here now. He can testify to you himself. But he's here because he loves you so much. This little food is nothing. He's more concerned about your soul. Amen? Because if anybody, we can walk out this door tonight, today, right now, and get hit by a car. Where are you going to go? I'm going to be with Jesus. I'm, the Bible says be confident. Be assured. And my assurance is in my salvation in Jesus Christ. And let me tell you something. Hey. From homeless to my own apartment, I'm homeless. And I'm no better than anybody else, than anyone it's about, but it's to share the love of Christ, to know that Jesus is real, Jesus saves, Jesus heals. So I'm going to ask you, those that would like to uh, receive Christ, it's a simple prayer of faith. It's not a prayer to me, it's a prayer to Him. It's a prayer to God. And the Bible says that if you cry out, He will hear you. And I'll testify to you today that He did hear me. My sister's here, my wife's here, my brother right here. This is my home from my hood. He can testify and share with you the things we used to do, the things that we've gone through, and yet what God has delivered us through. Amen? So let's bow our heads. We're going to close right now. We had a blessed time. We thank, you know, we just thank you for coming, everybody, for the help. But we're going to say a simple prayer, and if you want to bow your head, and uh, while every eye is closed and every head bowed, I'm going to ask those that would 
like to receive Jesus, uh, a prayer of faith, if you raise your hand. Nobody looking around. Is there anyone here that would like to receive Christ? And ask him in your Amen, brother. I see that hand. Anybody else? Would anybody else here like to ask Christ into their heart? And give God a chance. Okay. Okay. I'm going to repeat this. I'm going to say this prayer, brother. And if you want to just repeat it, it's not to me, but it's to Jesus. And take a step of faith and believe that he will come into your heart. Just repeat this, brother. Hey, Jesus, I ask you into my heart. I know I'm a sinner. And I ask you to forgive me. Clean my heart and clear my mind. Come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. I thank you for my forgiveness. I am a child of God. And I love you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, you meant it, it's done. It's that simple. Amen. Give yourself a clap. Amen. Amen. Once again, Pastor Vicky, if you want to know, I want to thank Pastor Vicky. And I want to thank you all for, you know, taking a minute of hearing the word of the Lord. Oh, she's probably okay. And I want to thank my wife, my sister, my family, all my neighbors, the birthday girl, uh, and everyone that partook. And thank you. I hope you all got full. Yes. But leaving here full is good. But leaving here spirit filled. Yes. Amen. 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 Okay, thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Brother Ron. Let's stand, please, and let's close up in prayer. Yeah, we can all stand, and let's close up in prayer. Praise God. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done today, Lord. Father God, we just speak a special blessing upon each and every one of us right now. In the name of Jesus. Father God, we thank you for that brother that gave his life to the Lord today, O oh Lord. Father God, we speak a divine blessing upon him. We speak divine protection. Keep him right now in the name of Jesus. And Father God, as we leave this place, we will never leave your presence. Bless each and every one of us and protect us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name we pray. And we all say, Amen. 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 God bless each and every one of you. And happy times given to each of you. God bless you all. Amen.